do you know what is strange to me? I believe some parents will take credit when their children does very well. And when I say children, it can be at any age from youngest to oldest. Oldest can be up to 50 or whatever. Anyways, but how many parents take credit when they when their children does very bad like for instance hey my child is a thief i am responsible for that not saying me but for an example uh my child is a huge liar i am responsible for that my child always messes up don't really do too well in life i am responsible for that blame me for that blame me how many parents says things like this i don't think too many or maybe any i don't know i believe based upon how the parents raise the children has like a very big outcome of how the children turn out. So chances are, if the children are very bad, chances are the parents did not train that child too well. And I think some people are not willing to accept this. Let's go to Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So what is that saying then? If you train up your child to be a rascal, I believe the child is going to be a rascal. Like, if you train up your child to have no manners, chances are they may have no manners when they grow up. And some people may say, well, you know, I trained up my child the right way, but they came out bad. I guess that is possible in some ways. But we have to take the Bible for what it says. Train up a child in the way he should go, and her too. And when he is old, and her he will not depart from it. So, in essence, I believe that is saying the parent is in a large percentage, I believe, responsible for how their children turn out. I think it is quite... It don't make sense to me for in a parent to complain so much about their child if that parent didn't spend too much time with that child teaching that child the right way or if you did spend much time with that child I believe that says a lot about you like like you have 12 kids and 10 kids turn out very bad 
Can you blame them or yourself? You got 10, you got 12 kids and 10 came out bad. Like, you have to place the responsibility on yourself. And I think that is the thing. I believe people, some people can't say all. I believe some people don't know how to be a good mother or a good father. Some people may believe all they are responsible of is just to feed you and, you know, wash you up and put some clothes on you. Parenting is way more than that. I think some people are in a rush to have children, but I think some people don't really have the skills or the mental capacity to be a parent. If you are not really responsible now, chances are you may not be so responsible when you become a parent. And I believe in this day of age, so many people have these mental disorders and so many problems. I believe one of the main reasons is because of their parents did not parent their children correctly. Look at all the mess in this world now, I believe in many countries. Look at what they are, I guess, trying to push on us or trying to influence us with. It is a bunch of mess. And you wonder why Jimmy, just naming random names, and you may wonder why Jimmy wants to self-delete himself. And you wonder why Susie wants to sleep with many men. And you wonder why George is a criminal, always going to jail back to back. Do you think these things are just happening on their own? Maybe in some cases, but I believe in many cases, you may be able to track it back to how they were born, meaning when in their childhood, let me say that. I believe there are so many bad parents out there in extreme amount. Some people may think in their mind, just because a person gets older, you need to have a kid. It doesn't matter if how your mind is. It doesn't matter if you are not mentally ready. It doesn't matter that you don't know how to be a parent. No, just have a kid because you are getting older and, and you must not wait any longer. Have a kid now. So when you mentally mess up your child, when you abuse your child or whatever, it's not my fault. It is their fault. They chose to steal. They chose to be uh, sleeping around. They chose to be a liar. They chose to do all the, those bad things and it's not my fault as a parent. I believe in many cases, some people who think in that way are delusional. I believe they may be in denial. I believe you had a part to play in it. If you are a bad parent now, go on the internet. Look up how to be a good parent. Actually, what you should do is read the Bible. Learn how to be a good parent. Learn how to be a good parent, I mean, uh, a good person. Um, obtain counseling from a good uh, pastor from a church or someone with uh, that knows what they are speaking about that is of God. 
because you don't have to continue mentally destroying your child. Many people now are not fit to be parents, to be honest. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. I believe this is chapter 1, verses 27 through 28. So created man and his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. Some people may use that scripture and say that I am wrong. The Bible says to have children. Yes, the Bible does say to have children, but do, but do God want you to raise your children wrongly? Does God want you to abuse your children? Does God want you to treat your children wrongly? This is why I am saying, wait, wait until you are mentally fit or and and or mentally ready to have children. Because I don't believe you can say I am wrong, but I don't believe God wants you to treat your children wrongly, which I believe many parents are doing this. I believe many uh, parents were traumatized when they were children. Now they are having children and traumatizing them like why can't people just heal? Like, hey, I want to be in a relationship, but let me not be in a relationship until I heal, until like the problems I have, let me get rid of them or make the problems less, I guess. Then let me set forth into doing this and doing that. It's like, I don't know, it's like, as it seems to me, so many people are rushing into things and not really thinking, I guess, so much on how it is going to affect others. And I believe that is selfishness. Some people, I am not claiming to be perfect, but some people may see me as I am now and may think I was always this way. No way. I had to be healed. I still need to be healed. Some people may be afraid or they don't want to be alone. So even though they may not be mentally fit or emotionally fit, some people may jump into relationships one after one after one, not really fixing what the true problem is. Because you may see the other person as the problem, but you are probably 80% or more the problem. You need time to heal. I really hope this makes sense. And what I am totally against, let me say this. I believe there are some families that have many bad things going on in them. Some of the family members don't want people to talk about what is happening in the family. So if there are some family members that are being abused or hurt or whatever, they may be afraid to go and tell because they may feel like the other family members may be more angry with them than the person that is doing the wrong in the family. So there are some people in the family that are being hurt 
and may feel like they can't really get help because they may be afraid of being shamed, perhaps, by other people in the family. I believe that is so toxic. What if the mother or father choose to raise their children rightly? I believe if you do that, less issues will happen in the family. But I believe what many people do, which is, I have to watch what I say, but I believe what many people do, they go by the world's thinking. Like, skip what the Bible is saying, no. I don't care what the Bible is saying. What does the world say? I believe many people go by the, I guess, the world's wisdom and do things thereof, but don't want to look bad. So if there are problems, you may forbid other family members to go and tell to get help. So I believe there are some people who suffer through abuse and are afraid to really talk about it. Now, how do you think that person is going to turn out when they become an adult? They may be as toxic as how their family are. This is one of the reasons why we need to go by the Bible and not really go by our way of thinking. Because if we go by our way of thinking, we are going to mess up. May God bless us.